I have something to say, and that is that Avatar 2 is stupid. <laughs> oh god, I didn't like this movie at all, and this is going to be a bit of a rant about this movie. Okay, so starting off, I just got to say that in Avatar 2, they keep going on and on about how water, the way of water, has no beginning or end, right? And the film itself has a similarity to that in that it feels like it doesn't have an end. I still feel like I'm watching it. Oh god, please make it stop. Look. Everybody is talking about Avatar 2 right now and everybody that I've seen so far has been praising it. And maybe it's just not for me. I'm definitely willing to be open to that possibility. I'm definitely, like, I'm not an expert on this matter at all. If this is a good or a bad movie, in fact, objectively, it's probably good, I guess. At least passable. But that's almost like the downside to Avatar 2 even more so. It's just passable and James Cameron spent who knows how how the fuck much money on this on this movie and spent 13 years making it just for this I don't know like CGI adventure that's fine it, it, it's okay I guess do you want to know the motivation of the villain in this film this is something that pisses me off a bit when I think about it it annoys me in the fact that I went there sat there for three hours through this shit just for the villain's motivation to be I really want to kill that guy over there. See that guy? I just really, really want to kill him. And that that's the extent of it. That's that character explained. Like, you're going to see, like, a bunch of videos probably online that's going to be like, Avatar 2 explained. And they're going to, like, try and make it sound smart. But no. Like, <laughs> the more and more that you try and make it sound like it's, ah, uh, it's a metaphor for something bad happening in the world, in the real world. Ooh. And look, there's probably stuff like that in there that, that either I missed or that I gathered because it was super heavy-handed either way it doesn't really matter if you actually look at it like to the point in the actual film itself it's just the villain being like i want to kill that dude over there <laughs> and basically it's just him chasing him down for the whole movie only for not really that much to happen in, in the fucking three hour runtime, I kind of can't stand this movie. But look, I do have to cover my bases here and I have to explain where I'm coming from. And that is that going into Avatar 2, I actually had decided I wasn't gonna see it because I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. I, I, I had decided. I'm so annoyed at myself now in retrospect because I had officially decided that I didn't care. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have to see it. I'm not gonna see it. I had decided it. But then the day one reviews came on through and everything and everybody he's talking about how it blew their minds you need to say it and my stupid lizard brain was scared of missing out i started to convince myself that this was going to be this historical film that like if i don't see it in cinemas if i don't see it in 3d if i don't see it the high frame rate thing i'm gonna regret it and look i probably would have but as it stands even having gone and seen it i regret that too right i don't think there was really a way to win with this film it's just it's just a slog it's just such a it's a three hour slog to get to really pretty much nowhere it's as simple as it gets and it's just I don't know I feel like a lot of the people going on about how good this movie is at the moment and it's still early so I don't know what the general consensus is but I have heard good things so far and to them I just got to ask like do you not want any more complexity than like most surface level thing you can you can do in a film which is what this is it's it's okay like I said I, I don't hate this movie with a fiery passion even though I kind of feel like I do having wasted my day yesterday having seen the film when I could have been editing a video all day instead of something a lot more productive than seeing fucking Avatar 2. Basically, Avatar 2 makes me mad because it doesn't respect your time. And it's a waste of time. And, <laughs> and it's just frustrating for that reason because you sit there going through it all with the intent of Sure, maybe not really caring about the story. I think we all went into this expecting that. But I also have to say that nothing in this film blew me away in terms of visuals either. Maybe that's blasphemous to say. Maybe I'm just absolutely insane. Or maybe I missed literally every visual cue that I was supposed to be picking up. But Avatar 2 looked like a movie? I don't know, man. It looked like every fucking Marvel movie that's come out. It looked like any other CGI infested, very, you know, big Hollywood production film. That's that's what it looked like. It didn't look like 13 years of work put into it. It didn't look any better than really anything else that has come out today. I mean, I guess that makes sense because if you start the film 13 years ago, and I don't actually know when they shot it and started animating it and stuff, but either way, the technology advances, okay? The technology advanced quicker than the film itself was made so it can really only be as good as today's standards already are and that's really about as good as it already is does that make any sense i don't know look i'm not really 
that into like visual effects and that kind of stuff. I don't really feel like I have a right to even talk about this. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm not a CGI artist. I don't know how the shit works. I'm sure it's a lot of hard work and it looked good, I guess. I'm not saying it looked bad, but I'm just saying that I didn't really get this like high, high revelation that, that completely blew my mind, that changed my life, like some people are kind of describing, where they're like, sure, the story's not good, but the visuals are mind blowing. They're amazing. And I'm, I'm kind of like, really? Are they? I, I don't know that they are. I I, there's water, there's, there's, there's blue people, you know? I, I don't know. I'm not really in this for the visuals anyway. I, I have to be honest. I don't really care about that aspect that much. Not like everybody else, I don't think. And so just the visuals alone, I don't think was really ever going to completely carry me here. I, I just, I'm not really in it for that kind of thing. I want to care about what's going on. And maybe that's my fault. Maybe I was expecting something that Avatar was never going to be. And that's a fair thing to say as well. But I just don't think that this film really covers it in terms of basically anything. I guess if you're there just to look at a pretty cartoon looking world, sure. Fine. I guess I just wanted more. I don't know, man. And that being said, the world, the animated world or whatever, or maybe some of it's live action. I don't really know. But Pandora, right, is like this, this world that everybody says is like this fully realized world. And it's like, oh, I want to go there so much. People reportedly left the first Avatar movie in 2009 and, and were, were depressed because they can't go to that real world. It, it doesn't exist. And that made them very sad. And I just got to say, I do not understand that in any way whatsoever either there's some forests there's some beaches i mean it may as well be earth really like other than some of the creatures going around other than it being not a landscape that we recognize being a part of earth or anything like honestly it might as it's it's not that vastly different from earth itself except for all the blue people and all that kind of stuff and in terms of like anything beyond just the visuals like i don't know like the politics or whatever or anything like that it's not like that in depth this is not a complex world or film or cinematic universe it's as simple as can be and i just don't really get what all the praise is or what all the work has been put into for the last fucking 13 years and what was it 13 years before that as well 97 to 2009 math 12 years and then another 13 years this is what james cameron has been spending a fucking third of his life on or something how old is james cameron it doesn't matter <laughs> the point is avatar 2 is not worth it in my opinion and if you're on the fence about going to see it like i was don't bother don't don't bother i would say i don't know again i don't feel like i really have a huge right to talk about like the animation and if the visuals are all that good if that's your bag if that's what you're going into this for sure you're probably going to be pleased i suppose i don't know but to me it didn't really look all that mind-blowing it looked like every other movie that's come out you know in recent years and the story was just as basic as it can be i, I mean it was fine. I cared enough, I suppose. But, you know, by the end of the three hour runtime, I'm just like, can we fucking move this along? Please, please, let's get out of here. Come on, Jake Sully. Come on. Let's, let's, you know, kill the bad guy or whatever you're going to do. Let's, let's get out of here. Can we, can we hurry up? Jake Sully is the protagonist's name, by the way, if you don't know that. They say it a lot in the film, but um, <laughs> you might not know that that's his name going in because nobody remembers the original Avatar. <laughs> Everyone saw it, but nobody actually remembers it. That's the funny thing about this whole cinematic universe, because I think that the second one is going to be much the same. I don't know if it's going to like break the bank as much as the first film did. I don't know if it's going to be like every single person in the world is going to see it. I don't know if it's going to be the same situation here, but if it is, I still don't think that it has enough weight to it. It doesn't like, it doesn't have enough complexity to it that anybody is really going to be talking about it beyond a few weeks. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. People are probably going to praise the shit out of this thing and I'm, I'm probably wrong, but I... I do not see myself pretty much ever talking about this film again come fucking February, you know? I, I just don't see it. Whereas I am going to be talking about, I don't know, other movies that came out this year like The Batman or Everything Everywhere All at Once. That's the one movie this year that is going to stick. I think Everything Everywhere All at Once is the type of movies that, that we want to see. I think that's the one that's going to have staying power. We're going to be talking about that in five years, ten years. I think. Maybe. Avatar 2? I don't, I don't think so. Another thing I just wanted to make a quick comment on when it comes to this movie is that I actually also think that 3D itself, it's pretty tacky anyway. There's really not much to it that adds anything to the film apart from just being like, whoa, and gra grabbing at the screen like a dumbass. I just don't really think it's that engaging or that much more immersive, and I don't think that there's any real point to it. And it actually makes me think that things like Avatar 2 are the embodiment of the whole Martin Scorsese complaint that he was making like a year or two ago about 
about how films are becoming more like amusement park rides. Because that's really all there is to this. You just sit there and be kind of thrilled. You don't actually emotionally engage with the material or care about anything that's going on. You're just sitting there, you know, having fun. Or at least I hear that other people are having fun with this. Because personally, I found it boring as fuck. I pretty much had no fun with this film. And I don't think that 3D or the high frame rate or anything like that really helped. If anything, it's more of just a fun experiment. But it's not really a cinema experience. And so that's about all that I gotta say. I don't know. Bit of a rant. I, I fucking hated it. But yeah, I also didn't completely like it was fine objectively it was fine but it probably should have meant more than that but maybe it was never for me let me know what you think and i'm out of here but before you go please do the things which i like comment share subscribe all that shit goodbye